have one question for you. Doesn't it suck to lose every game? Only there were a way to both do something for your team. You're useless. And win games. There, there is. Just play crew. Crew is one of the two roles you can play in the game. Unlike pilots, you can't spawn planes, but you do, however, have a trusty welder and useful tools like the net gun at your disposal. While hopefully everyone on your team wants to win, you are the key part in making that happen by protecting your zeppelin. You see, as crew, your number one enemy are enemy pilots. While you have multiple AA guns and sometimes auto cannons to help you with this goal, sometimes an enemy pilot will weasel past you. These enemy pilots like to drop unwanted explosive devices on your zeppelin. That beeping noise? Yeah, that's not an alarm clock. That's a bomb. You as crew do not want bombs on your zeppelin. It is a zeppelin after all, not a block of Swiss cheese, and your job is to make sure it stays that way. This is a big difference between the pilots and crew. Pilots plant bombs and crew defuses them. It turns out you are also the zeppelin handyman. If your enemy is smart, they will not only utilize their boom boom devices, but also their array of planes. These planes, for the most part, will shoot bombs at your zeppelin and damage the tanks and ammo boxes. Your job as crew is to keep all your structures at full health. Things will quickly go bad if you leave ammo boxes unrepaired in the middle of intense fighting. Jeez, sounds like you got a lot to do while being crew. And turns out there's more though. While not only being able to keep intruders off your zeppelin and repairing all the structures and defusing the bombs, you have to be on the offense. By the end of the round, 95% of the time your zeppelin will have engaged with an enemy zeppelin with the cannons. You must be able to use these cannons to destroy vital parts of the enemy zeppelin, such as their tanks. In some instances, your zeppelin will ram right into the enemy. Being able to jump onto the enemy zeppelin and wreak havoc with crew weaponry is crucial to a successful match. So in this video, we'll be going over everything you need to know about crew and to lead your team to victory. As I've stated, you must be capable of utilizing AA guns and other devices to shoot down planes, dealing with pilots who board your zeppelin and the bombs they may leave behind, keeping your zeppelin repaired by repairing structures, using cannons to attack the enemy, and boarding the enemy to wreak havoc. In every game mode, there's always turrets of some form. In the early stages of the round, you will only be using turrets to shoot down incoming planes that your friendly pilots were unable to shoot down themselves. However, in the later round, when you are broadside with the enemy, turrets can make good anti-personnel devices. Be careful of enemy snipers. You're an easy target, sitting there all alone. When shooting down planes, it's good practice to aim ahead of your target rather than where your target currently is. It's good to engage the enemy at a range where you get the first couple shots in before they retaliate by either firing back or strafing. However, you will occasionally experience a head-on charge from an enemy plane shooting directly at you while you shoot directly back. Most times, it's better to disengage. Considering you are a sitting duck when it comes to basically every plane in the game. Be careful to not get cocky. You can quickly be killed by the plane's bullets and be one shot by rockets and light bombs. While generally torpedoes are hard to hit with an AA gun, it should be noted in the raid game mode your AA guns shoot twice as fast, making it far easier to shoot down torpedoes because of the rate of fire. The raid game mode also has two other unique stationary weapons. You have auto cannons and flare launchers. Auto cannons are unique with their overheat ability and very high damage, while flare launchers basically just one shot anything it hits, but have a long reload. With the auto cannons, <coughs> if, if they ever work, use them for long range targets. If you can, try and shoot the pilot. It's far easier to kill the pilot than destroying the plane especially if it's a heavy bomber. 
two shots by an autocannon will kill a player immediately. With the flare launcher, it works great against slow targets like heavy bombers and against planes that are flying straight at you. Make sure to have a widespread launch to maximize your chance of hitting a strafing target. It's also possible to take down torpedoes with the flare launcher as well. It takes a long time to reload, so fire wisely. In the early stages of the round, as crew, you'll be pretty much doing nothing, and you think you might have a tea time with your other crew teammates. Wrong! Tea time is for the weak. You must always be vigilant. Scan your camera in and out. You can see through the balloon of the Zeppelin and easily spot parachuting pilots. There are three main areas you must always keep an eye on. The rear launch pad, the area above the back tank, and the rooms both tanks are located in. From my experience, the number one location players will land at is the area above the back tank. This is because it leads directly to the back tank itself. If you see someone landing on your Zeppelin, you must be extremely careful about how you go about ridding them. You probably do not know what weapon they are using. You could think it's safe to walk through the doorway to investigate the area when, bam, you get backstabbed. Maybe you think it's safe to climb the ladder to the front tank when you get shredded by someone on the AA guns. You must be especially careful when you see a bomb but you don't see the pilot who placed it. Rule number one of defusing a bomb. Never attempt to defuse it unless you are positive the pilot is not around to kill you. When you are defusing the bomb, you are completely blind behind you, making you an easy target. Always know where your enemy is so you can make the best decisions possible. If you are on PC, I highly recommend using the scroll wheel to zoom your camera around. You will often hear the enemy before you see them by gunshots or the beeping of the bomb. Zoom your camera around to see where the bomb is loudest, or maybe look through gaps in the Zeppelin to try and spot where the pilot could be. Get creative with how you approach an enemy bomb. If there is a bomb on the back tank, sometimes it's better to travel over the back tank and surprise them from behind rather than use the walkways. Part of being crew is making sure you know where the enemy is, but they don't know where you are. You are quite literally a Rambo character. Later on, you will unlock the wrench, a tool that diffuses bombs slower but repairs faster. I would recommend using the wrench only when you are in close quarter combat with the enemy Zeppelin, because repairing your structures is key. Otherwise, in the early game, use the welder. Depending on where the enemy bomb is, you will most likely have only one chance at killing the pilot and defusing the bomb. If the bomb is on the back tank and you were to die, the time it would take to respawn and walk all the way to the back tank is simply too long. It's better to take things slowly rather than be too hasty and die. Most bombs in the game take 3-4 to four seconds to defuse with the welder, so you have gobs of time. Now, as harsh as it may seem, you're not going to be able to shoot down every plane, take down every torpedo, and defuse every bomb. Sometimes, things will happen, and that's okay. You'd be surprised at how resilient a Zeppelin is with both of its tanks, and as long as those tanks are repaired, you will be in good condition. As you know, all the stationary weapons in the game use ammo. If all the ammo boxes are destroyed, those weapons will become unusable. And a Zeppelin with no cannons is as good as a box of rocks. When an ammo box is destroyed, it creates a fire. And when you are busy doing a million other things like defusing bombs and using cannons, you really don't have time to grab an extinguisher and put the fire out. So ammo boxes create a huge distraction that has to be dealt with by creating fire. And they also leave a chunk in the Zeppelin, the size of which you could fit a plasma TV in. The number one problem with the modern crew team is that they undervalue their ammo boxes. Always be repairing ammo. Always be zooming your camera around to see if an ammo box needs repaired. You will be way better off than your enemy. The time bomb deals around 300 damage to tanks. You can't destroy a tank with one time bomb. If that bomb goes off, you can just repair it back to full health in around 10 to 15 seconds. This makes pilots have a hard time taking down the tank in the early game with bombs alone. 
However, that is why they often use Light Bombers to damage the tank instead. In the early game, this will be common if you don't have a good air defense. However, the solution to this is quite simple. If you are unable to take them down via the neck gun or the AA and they do bomb your back tank, just repair it. Be careful, however. After they bomb the tank, they will sometimes land on your Zeppelin to place a bomb. So while you are repairing the tank, you could be killed. It's guaranteed that you will face the enemy in cannon warfare. Everything you've learned so far will now have to be employed along with offensive tactics like using cannons. When you first engage the enemy, you will want to use the light cannons to destroy the other enemy cannoneers and destroy that middle ammo. If you want to play nasty, you can destroy the fire extinguishers as well, with two cannonballs per extinguisher being required. Once you've done this, if the enemy has their back tank, then employ a combination of killing enemy cannoneers and chipping away at the back tank wood to open it up. The back tank is usually easier to hit than the front tank because it does not have the god metal encasing the front tank has. Once the back tank is gone, go for the front tank. The heavy cannons on the bottom deck you should use to first take out the enemy heavy cannons. In this process, it deals heavy damage to the enemy zeppelin and also rids them of their most powerful tool. There is actually a really good tactic that I use to destroy the enemy cannon. You want to direct both your shots towards one location to deal double damage to that spot, rather than damage to two different spots. It will destroy the protective metal much quicker. Once that's open, kill the cannoneer and destroy the two metal pieces the enemy cannons are connected to. Destroying the seat works too, but it takes longer. When you are on the light cannons, you have decent covering, but be careful of snipers. If the metal guard is destroyed, using the light cannons becomes near impossible if you have a competent enemy player. They will simply grab any rifle in the game and headshot you. If this does happen, the best thing to do is get on the seat, shoot, and jump off quickly to dodge enemy fire. However, when you are on the heavy cannons, the two openings for the cannons to fit through make a great window for enemy snipers. The same thing can be employed if you are being fired at. Shoot your shots, jump off, take cover. Once you have destroyed the enemy heavy cannons, if you are still in range to, aim for that middle ammo near the stairs. Destroy that if you can. Once the enemy starts to pass by, whether you are on the light or heavy cannons, always fire at the back tank if it's still there. If they're going to leave the party, at least give them a reason to. While on the cannons, you can get distracted by your targets. Make sure to still look around for structures needing repairs and possible enemy boarders trying to kill you. Now comes, in my opinion, the most fun part of crew boarding the enemy. As fun as charging onto the enemy zeppelin, guns a blazing sounds, you will most likely just die. As with all things in this game, there is a tactic to it. First, you must ask yourself, why board the enemy zeppelin? Well, the number one reason you want to board the enemy ship is because if you can keep the enemy off their cannons, they have no method of doing direct damage to you. You can also camp their plane spawn and halt anyone from spawning planes. Just make sure that your team is actually on the cannons doing damage as well, or else stalling the enemy will not amount to anything. If your zeppelin is above the enemy, then it's very important you maintain control of the enemy zeppelin's captain room. Make sure they don't try and run. It is also a great distraction to have maybe four to five people trying to kill you and take control of the captain's seat, and it buys time for your other teammates to sabotage and plant bombs. Now for sabotaging, sabotaging also works great if you are above them or have control of their zeppelin by holding them at spawn. Otherwise, you will have a hard time sabotaging cannons when the entire enemy team is on the same deck as you. As for weapon choices when you board, I'd highly recommend using shotgun if you want to go full sweat mode. Remember to time reloading, and if you're using single reload type guns, then make sure to use the infinite ammo glitch. Trust me, it's going to save your life. And there you have it, folks. With the knowledge you've just gained, I assure you that you will be an unkillable winning machine. 
If you liked what you saw today, then check out the rest of my channel, where there is a lot of Zeppelin Wars content. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting.